Chances are you've probably never heard of atrial fibrillation, or AF, but it affects up to a quarter of a million Canadians. It is a serious heart condition characterized by an irregular or rapid heartbeat that can be both frightening and debilitating, particularly for the growing number of AF patients who end up in hospital with strokes, congestive heart failure, and other heart-related problems. Dr. Stuart Connolly, professor of medicine at McMaster University in Hamilton, is very familiar with this disease. He's the principal investigator for the Athena study, which examined a new treatment, dronetarone. He believes it may change the way the disease is treated in the future. The results of Athena are indeed very conclusive. We have very high statistical certainty that it does reduce hospitalization for cardiovascular cause or death. There's also some reasonable uh, indication that it reduces cardiovascular mortality, death from cardiac arrhythmia, and stroke. The study provides new hope for patients and their physicians because treatment options up until now have been limited. Well, current treatments for atrial fibrillation are not very good. Uh, they're not highly effective and they have quite a lot of side effects. Furthermore, none of them have ever been shown to reduce any important cardiovascular outcomes. The Athena study is the largest ever conducted in AF patients. It involved more than 4,000 patients in 35 countries, including Canada. Results showed a 45% decrease in the risk of arrhythmic death and a 24% reduction in the risk of hospitalization or death from any cause. Dr. Paul Dorian, professor of medicine at the University of Toronto, is also encouraged by the study results. He explains that atrial fibrillation is a particular kind of heart disease that is very important to know about. First, it's very common. Second, it often causes impairment of quality of life because it causes palpitations and dizziness and lightheadedness. And third, and most importantly, it frequently leads to hospitalization as a consequence of the heart rhythm problem. And perhaps even more importantly, it's one of the most common causes of stroke in our society. AF may be even more common than is generally recognized. Some patients may have the disease and experience no symptoms. Others may have occasional symptoms but don't report them. Once this medication is available, in my opinion, this will allow doctors a very important new option in treating patients with atrial fibrillation. If you'd like to learn more about AF, speak with your doctor. Martin Vanderwood reporting.